Want to build a PC? You're going to need these tools. Building your own PC is a rewarding experience, but you need to make sure you have the right tools. And our producer, Roger Chang, has built many a PC in his time, so he put together a list of must-have PC building tools. Let's count them down. Number five, a telescopic magnetic pickup tool. So much easier to use than to say, because you're going to drop a few of those tiny steel screws in those tight corners inside a PC or behind the furniture. One of the two, probably both. And a magnetic pickup tool makes retrieving them a snap. Sliding in at number four, a screw tray. Because did I mention the PCs are held together with very tiny little screws? And when you're installing or replacing a component, you're gonna have a lot of screws lying around and you don't want them loose. A screw tray doesn't have to be a purpose-built tool. It can be any small dish or container, just something that's gonna keep those little pieces from getting lost. Coming in at number three, an anti-static mat and a wristband. Let, let's do both. Static electricity is the bane of people's hair and health and of your new PC. A large enough charge can damage the sensitive electronics on motherboards, your hard drives, all your expansion cards, and an anti-static mat and wristband will help discharge any static you might have built up and it'll keep it from harming your equipment. You don't wanna to have to buy that card again. Up to number two, flashlight. The inside of a PC case is often dark and not just with foreboding, but also lack of light. So shed some light on the problem. Uh, you might want to get a gooseneck light or even a head flashlight because those will free up your hands to hold your tools. At number one, a multi-bit screwdriver. This has saved my life many times. Uh, you don't want to search around for the Torx or the Phillips screwdriver that you left in the other bag or rolled under the couch or whatever. You want to narrow this down to one screwdriver with a bandolier of bits. A multi-bit screwdriver is just like a regular screwdriver, except you replace the top part, the bit, depending on what screw you're loosening. So make sure you get a set that has different size bits so you can tackle different size screws. Do you think we missed a must-have tool on our list? I bet one of you does, so let us know down below in the comments. And if you want more great tech news and info, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash dailytechnewsshow. You can get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com and support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there.